Next, we head to Jefferson County Courthouse in Kentucky for a case that shows just how emotionally difficult it can be for a prosecutor working on a horrific crime. Okay, uh, good morning. We're on the record. This is the matter of the Commonwealth versus Molly Schaus. 79, Molly Schaus. This is the arraignment of Molly Schaus. Ms. Schaus, you have a charge of murder, second degree possession of a controlled substance, and possession of marijuana. Schaus has been charged with murder after allegedly leaving her two year old son to die in a hot car while she was passed out inside her home high on Xanax and marijuana. The tragic year-long case is wrought with emotion. At times, Schaus broke down in tears during the trial, causing delays in the proceedings. There is no doubt uh, in my mind that your uh, emotions are, are genuine. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it is necessary for us to uh, get through this trial uh, without interruption. Eventually, the trial was completed, and it took just two hours for the jury to find Schaus guilty of murder. But before Judge Olu Stevens delivered final sentencing, the emotional burden of the victim impact statement fell on the shoulders of prosecutor Aaron McKenzie. Kenton Brown cannot give you a victim impact statement. And there is nobody here in this courtroom from his family to give you a victim impact statement. The little boy that sat in his car seat and suffered for hours upon hours while his skin seared against the hot plastic of the buckle between his legs, with his little wet diaper stuck to him in the heat. There's nobody here to speak for Kenton today. So I don't just speak on behalf of this community, Your Honor. I speak for the victim. I speak for the life that was lost. Now, Judge Stevens will have to determine her sentence. Ms. Schaus, you chose the drugs over the life of your child. And so um, the court will uh, sentence you today. Judge Stevens agrees with the jury's recommended sentence of 35 years in prison. In, in accordance with the uh, jury verdict, Murder will be 28 years. Possession of control substance first, three years. Criminal abuse, two years. One endangerment first, two years. Uh, each will run consecutive to the other. The total sentence is 35 years. But the story didn't end there. In a stunning turn of events, Chow's conviction and sentence were thrown out by the Kentucky Supreme Court. The high court found the prosecutors were not allowed under state law to prosecute Schaus on a particular type of murder. In 2000, state lawmakers created a new type of second degree manslaughter to apply when young children die after being left in vehicles. As a result, Schaus pled guilty to that lesser charge. Instead of serving the maximum 35 year sentence she was initially given, Schaus was released after serving just three. Thanks for being a fan of CourtCam. Subscribe to AE to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.